One. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Storm with Creative Community Solutions. We are pre-game with the Gwinnett Stripers. We are so fortunate to have Justice Sheffield joining us this morning. Justice, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for taking time out of your pre-game schedule. Now, before we get into talking about, you know, your goals for the season, things along those lines, start off with when did you know that this was the game for you? Uh, shoot, ever since I was a little kid, honestly. Um, you know, I played three sports growing up. Uh, my dad was big into, you know, keeping us active, um, especially in, in, in the off seasons of sports and things like that. So I played basketball, football, and baseball growing up. And then uh, once I got to high school, I started realizing that uh, baseball could be a, a route for me to, you know, get further my career in college or even pro. And then uh, once uh, probably like sophomore, junior year, um, I really honed in on my skills and, uh, you know, put all my effort into doing that. Okay, and again, there's always like that moment where it's like, yes, this is where I know I need to be. Now, of course, every year it's about how do you get better at your game, things along those lines. Looking at this season, what's one part of your game where you're like, yes, I'm on track, and it's one part it's where if I make one or two more adjustments, I'm going to put myself where I'm really trying to go. Yeah, that's pretty much how my year has gone this year. Uh, you know, I've had some good games. Um, and been in every single game. Uh, but, you know, a couple of mistakes here and there can kind of uh, derail you from, you know, really going out there and, 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 and doing it. Uh, so it's just little, little small adjustments. Um, you know, I try not to think of the big spectrum. I try not to, you know, overanalyze or do anything like that. Uh, it's just a couple things, a couple clicks here and there, and then things will start fall falling in the line, and then, you know, you'll be on your way. But um, so far this year, you know, I'm – uh, taking it day by day and uh, just trying to get 1% better every day. Let us know the importance of staying ready. You're here at AAA. You know it's a phone call away. So what do you do to kind of walk and chew gum where you know you got to prepare on this level, but you never know when that call is going to come? Yeah, like I said, you just got to uh, stay grounded, stay where your feet are. Um, you know, I know Atlanta's 30, what, 30 miles away, 35 miles away. So, um, you know, especially at this level, guys can kind of look ahead and, you know, try and do too much and, and, and things like that to get to Atlanta or the big leagues um, when really you just got to uh, make sure you're ready and prepare yourself every day because then when you do get that phone call, um, you'll go up there and, and tear it up and, um, you know, rest is history. Okay. Last question. For the younger version of you or any younger players, I know you've, you, you've, you've seen a lot, you've gone through a lot, of the many lessons you've learned, what's one lesson or one piece of insight you'd like to give for just say younger players or even co young, yeah. you know, coaches at yeah. younger levels? Uh, I know it's super cliche, but literally, literally have fun. Uh, the more you can have fun and, you know, not, not think so much about, um, you know, where you're at. Um, you're, you might not be where you, you want to be at the time. And, um, you know, I find it easier that, um, if you go out here and enjoy this this game with your teammates and your coaches, um, your staff, that, uh, you know, things really do go your way and, you know, you'll start seeing that you'll play better on the field and, um, you know, it kind of takes away that aspect of uh, sitting there thinking about trying to perform, perform, perform when really it's, it's a game and you got to go out there and have fun and if you have fun, then eventually the, the tides will turn and, you know, you'll start showcasing your skills. Well, I'll tell you what, Justice, obviously continue having fun with the game that you love playing. Continue, like you said, each and every day, that 1% to 2% that's getting you closer where you're trying to go. Thank Best you. wishes today. Best wishes on the season. Appreciate it.